Time you moved on. a favor in Take us all the way to the salsa. Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. We should go back and beat him up or something. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. <sighs> I told you, I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but... I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? This about her? About Marlene? with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. Sud and porous dirt, but none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> so now only Dine is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dine. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? <sighs> if I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we have. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. Are we gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We gonna let them tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. 
In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? Static. Convinced it was the dawn of a new era. Then one day... <clears throat> the reactor exploded. Y'all saw the aftermath. really how it's gonna be. Listen, I don't want your sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with it. Right. We gotta shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever, the Gold Saucer. Huh? So turn those frowns upside down. <laughs> what in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. Right? Wanna have a look? It's coming up over there.
shall we? Let's. <laughs> <laughs> Tifa Lockhart and Cloud Strife. Look at them. Look! Waltzing around with the flower seller and Hojo's lab rat. Who are these people? At least they're finally on a real wanted list. It's about time. That's all well and good. But why am I in charge of handing out the posters? Don't they know I have a division to run? I think you're where the president wants you. Cloud, the others are waiting. desert parking area. Access is reserved for guests with vehicles and their companions.
Welcome to our gilded paradise, the Gold Saucer. Dio, Art Director. And you, sir, are... Cloud. <laughs> well, Cloud, shall we do... Let go. Now, now, when fate sets us a challenge, we must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? You can do this, Cloud. What it takes, young man. Give our worthy contender another thunderous round of applause!
Well, thanks. <laughs> nice punching up there, Cloud. <clears throat> A small token of my thanks. <sighs> One golden ticket. Your ticket to paradise. <laughs> no. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Thanks! Nicely done! Oh, You're pretty nervous! Yeah. Cloud's used to performing in front of crowds. You should have seen him at the Honey Bee Inn. Eric! Oh, you've got to tell me that one later! Let's have some fun! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Sure, sounds like a plan to me. I had my fill of fun with Costa del Sol. Let's put it to a vote then. Teensy little quick! All those in favor? Me! Me! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Have your fun while you still have time. Hey, maybe you should lie down for a bit. No, I'm all right. Come on, man. I know this ain't the same. Why don't you and me go book us some rooms? to clear those somber skies. Whether it be dark or bright, I'll need your future light. Just then we'll shoot the messenger. Eh? This some kind of toy? You do, lads. Eyes up here. <laughs> okay, Seth. Fortune teller extraordinaire. Put it there. <laughs> it's a toy, all right. Pretty lifelike, though. 
Come on, pal. Give us a smile. The gold saucer is meant to be a happy place filled with happy people, don't you know? So show us those pearly whites. Back up. Someone's got a bee in their bonnet. Sincere apologies. <sighs> Got any rooms? There's six of us all told. Well, five and one pet. Hmm. Might I inquire as to what kind of pet? Uh, he was joking. Make it six. Very well. Now then. Hmm. Oh. I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen, but it appears we're all booked up for the night. <sighs> for crying out loud. What about the other hotels? Forgive me, sir. But according to my records, all of our hotels are sadly fully booked. What? <sighs> Hello again. Nowhere to stay? And what's it to you? Now then, did you want one suite or two? <sighs> You trying to scam us? I wouldn't need dream of such a thing. And to prove it, I'll foot the entire bill myself. Sure you will. Well, aren't we a prickly bunch? You there, dangly man. Would you mind checking one more time? Timely cancellation. <laughs> the Tonberry and Elagor suites have just become available. Shall I book them for you? <laughs> it feels so good to do good. All right, lads, enjoy your stay. <laughs> to the loo. Your suites are on the fourth floor. Please proceed to the elevator at the top of the stairs. still stands, a fortune or two to steer you true. You can answer any question? But of course! Be it this, be it that, go on and ask the cat. Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth, you see. All right, hold on to your underpants. Meow, 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 
Things are looking up, so throw caution to the wind. Put your trust in others, and a last-minute twist may pleasantly surprise you? What's this got to do with Sephiroth? What indeed? Give me another chance. I'll get it this time. Come on! Watch your belongings. Lucky color. Black? <sighs> We're done. Wait, don't go! Third time's a charm! Come on, you stupid thing! Anything the matter? <laughs> Seek, and you are sure to find. But alas, you shall forever lose what you cherish most? <laughs> the stars work in mysterious ways. <laughs> you good? Yeah, it's just... what I cherish most? See what this crap does. My apologies, sir. Something tells me I'm going to have the worst nightmares when I go to bed. I'm getting this tingling up and down my spine. Wait, maybe I've got some kind of sixth sense. You won't believe this. To go down, I presume. Fourth floor. Oh, uh, of course. Very well. Fourth floor it is. Goodness me! Oh. <laughs> Reservation, under the name Palmer. Director of Space and Aeronautics? <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, one moment, please. <laughs> it says here you canceled those rooms. What? No, we didn't. <laughs> While we did have you booked for the Tonberry and Elagor suites, Mr. Palmer sent word that they were no longer required. That's impossible. Uh, is something wrong? We lost the rooms. What? Tell him who I am. I did. Oh. Well, no point dwelling on it. Now, where can a man get a drink around here? <laughs> you, waitress? You have yourselves a ghoulish and morbid evening. Shake it off. You hear me? Yeah. I hear you.
more tired than I thought. Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. <laughs> <laughs>